bird's name, Arkin. When I hit AR-45, I was ready to start clapping some cheeks. I had 44 fragile resins saved up. I was gonna eat and sleep in one of these dungeons. I wanted to farm runes for Beto, so I just stayed in that dungeon and I think I went to AR-46 in like a day. Man, it was blood, sweat and tears in that bad boy. And as I'm farming runes, I mean uh, artifacts, I used to play Summoner's War, so right now, like, that's the only thing, that's that's what comes to mind when I think about artifacts. It's not artifacts, they're runes, okay? They're runes. Just be gentle and deal with it. But as I farm and starting to skim through some runes and start to upgrade a couple that look good, I realized that some of them upgrade pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, they were, they were fire, they were fire, and then others just, just upgraded like crap. So I wanted to know the values of what was a good roll and what was a bad roll. So after extensive and abhorrent upgrading, these are the values that I have found after my experiment. Let us begin with the three star artifacts. So for four star artifacts, the base number of substats you are allowed to get is two to three. On a five star artifact, the base is three to four and the maximum substat on any artifact is four. Now, once you hit the maximum amount of substats, in increments of four, your substats will start to be upgraded. So to simplify, you get upgrades for your substats at level four, eight, 12, and 16. Five star artifacts go up to level 20. Now, the thing that nobody talks about is that the increase of your substats are randomized. So it's not even anything that you can control. Everything is left up to RNGs. Jesus. Now, after upgrading countless and countless artifacts, I have a pretty good grasp on what's a good roll and what's a bad roll. So check these out. Now this is where I would suggest, especially if you're not watching it for the first time, pause the video and check it out. Go through it slowly, see what the values are. The values between a 4 and 5 star initially when you look at them don't seem all that insignificantly high from 4 to 5 stars. But let's look at the max values for 4 and 5 star for crit damage for example. The max on the crit damage is 7.8 and the max on the 4 star is 6.2. Now that's a 1.6 different and you're thinking to yourself, well that ain't too bad. But you have to understand, it's when you max these runes out that you truly see the difference. You can upgrade a 5 star artifact 5 times and a 4 star artifact 4 times. Now let's say you get a 5 star artifact that drops with max substats and crit damage is one of your substat and it's maxed at 7.8 and by the time you upgrade it to 20 it max rolls into crit damage five times your max crit damage is going to be 46.8 percent now a four star if you max roll into that four times that's 31 percent crit damage see the difference that's over 15 percent crit damage right there let me give you a quick example of what a quad roll looks like make sure you like the video and subscribe because this is going to be so good That's it for now until I get another laptop. If I missed anything or didn't go over anything, you can always leave a comment, I'll get back to you and I'll see you guys next time.